Okay, welcome back. So I was just adding some links to the, the notes here. Uh, before I talk about line item two, I'm just realizing uh, we need to do a little bit of search engine optimization for our lab group page. That's this one here. What's this one here? So, Yishpal Gupta was a doctoral student under uh, Dr. Phelan, and he uh, did some work with adsorption modeling along with John Sherbeck. Together with uh, John, they, they built a adsorption cooling unit, I believe. And Yishpal did some of the numerical modeling for it. And let me see. So one thing I need to show you is his dissertation. I'm a little slow pulling things up here. So he graduated in 2011. And uh, yeah, it's a long thing, but basically he was comparing a, a couple of systems for solar thermal air conditioning and then focusing on the adsorption system uh, with the numerical model, the experimental investigation, some optimization here. So what we can focus on in reading through this is... Um, the model and the literature. So this is the schematic diagram of the adsorption system as, as he was seeing it. And there's no major change. This is a two bed system, two adsorbers. There's a heat source. There's some valves. Um, there's a refrigeration loop here. And there's also a cooling water supply. So one can switch these valves and push cooling water through the absorbers, or obviously you could design the system so that's air, uh, or you could run hot water through this heat exchanger and supply or air some you know heating fluid. So one at a time, one bed will be heated, one bed will be cooled. Uh, you use these valves and these valves to get the, well, you can also get refrigerant. So the other pass through this heat exchanger, it's a heat and mass exchanger because internally you'll be evaporating or condensing some fluid. So if you're heating, then you're evaporating and that fluid goes through this loop. Now, if you're cooling, then you're going to be condensing the fluid, that, the gas that comes out of the evaporator. So that's the basic cycle. And what you can do with the controls are when you switch these valves, and if you add more valves, you could be, you could add more tanks as well and control them independently. Basically, there's so much time that you spend delivering the cooling supply to a given tank, and then so much time that you spend delivering heat from the heat source. So there's a lot in here. It talks about the models. Uh, we're, I'm going to focus on using the Freundlich equation. This is referring to... Um, 
see if there's an equation. Those equations are, are models for how much refrigerant is adsorbed in these the adsorbent material. So here's the Freundlich equation. Basically it looks like this. Q is the adsorption ratio. This model is an equilibrium model, meaning there's no rate information here. We just tell <clears throat> tell the model what is the, the pressure at a given temperature. It has a certain saturation pressure. This is referring to the refrigerant at equilibrium uh, between vapor and liquid, the VLE. So this is a thermodynamic property of temperature. This is a state variable that changes over time in the absorb absorber bed. Um, this is a constant, some property of the adsorbent material as well as this. And so they're saying if you change the saturation pressure by changing the temperature and you change the pressure, then you can desorb or adsorb more uh, refrigerant into the silica gel, which is or, or uh, graphite, but well, let's assume silica gel, I think, is what he assumed in the model. And then you can do some math and figure out how much change there is between one temperature and another. And you can do some calculations on the overall cycle, the COP, the rate of heat input. These models are based on a paper, uh, largely based on a model, um, which I don't remember, but I have a set of notes on it. So, I always go back to my notes, whatever I wrote down is in here. And I kind of wrote this in a chronological order. So again, this is a lot like what I'm presenting. I look at the prior work. This is the Freundlich equation. It's an empirical model, by the way. So Cho and Kim have a paper that's referred to in the dissertation and in, in the references in this document. And it's a little bit ambiguous. Other papers are a little bit better about describing what's used. So where were we? So anyway, this dissertation describes the, the numerical model that's used, the parameter values that are used in the equations, the operating conditions, and then a comparison of the experiment and simulation shows there's a little bit of a discrepancy. And then he goes on to produce some parametric studies here. And this, this is a comparison with different models. So we're focusing on the model that's the open diamonds the adsorption model. Some nice uh, drawings. There's the experimental setup, which can still be found in our lab. It's been slightly rearranged. There's some different ref uh, adsorbents and refrigerant pairs. And this is kind of a diagram of the process, talking about heat is being added on this side, 